Hey guys, I was lucky enough to find the new Sandman Final Battle set early at Kohl's, and so in this video, I want to show you how you can actually take Sandman and combine him into the Final Battle No Way Home set to make the big, big battle from the end of the movie by combining both sets. Now, this is something that the Lego boxes and instructions tell you you can do, which is quite cool, so let's see how it actually looks. Now, in the instruction booklet, there are actually instructions on how to do this. So we want to remove the hand from inside the Statue of Liberty and the back of the head there. And of course, Sandman, which we just did, and then insert Sandman on the inside to make it look a little something like this. I do want to let you guys know, my friend Brody and I designed a Lego Kiss set. So we need all the support we can get from the Kiss Army. If you would click the link in the description of this video, you can support the set. And if we get enough supporters, Lego will actually consider making it into a real set. So let's get those supporter numbers up. And thanks so much for that. Now, the first thing you want to do is remove Sandman. So let's go ahead and take Spider-Man out of his hand there. And then he just lifts straight up. You can see that there are some bricks that you build right there that go kind of into his torso. And then on the base, there's a two by three opening that that clicks into. So unfortunately, we actually are going to take away this whole entire thing because Sandman just connects into the Statue of Liberty. So we'll go ahead and do exactly as they instruct. Remove this. We probably need to move Doc Ock as well. Looks like I already had taken his hand out of there. So I guess we just set this in a little something like this. I'm not sure if he actually is supposed to click into place or what the deal is. There we go. Yeah, he kind of clicks into place there. So he is pretty sturdy in there when it's all said and done. That's the look. And there we have it, guys. That's how Sandman connects in. And I have to say, I'm not actually a huge fan of it. Now, I do have a mod idea I'm going to show you here in just a second. But the reason I'm not a fan is because you actually can't move him at all. He has to be facing in this direction. And then this is kind of the way I like to look at the set, because that way the statue's nose is pointing right at you. And you can see the most of the set. But when you do this, Sandman's kind of at like a side angle, and you can't see all that great you know, detail on the front of the torso. And if you want to see that, now everybody's facing the wrong way. So I do have an idea to fix this. So let me show you that now. So what I'd really recommend doing is taking two two by two bricks and placing them on the little Sandman torso here. You got to get rid of that uh, two by two round that's on there. But then you can place this inside the statue's head. You can see that it will go right there and it will give you a little bit of added height as well as a little bit of added stability so that Sandman can spin the whole way around. Looks like he came off there, but if you're gentle, he could then spin 360 around and you could still have him up top and that extra bit of height will allow you to have him facing forward so you could display it with the statue forward and you could see all of the figures at once, except Electro who I took off. So let me put him back on there. <laughs> All right, guys, and there we have it. Both No Way Home sets combined for one epic final battle, and all you have to do is one little mod on the inside there to make it literally perfect. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think this turned out pretty great, and I'd love to hear what you guys think. It is pretty crazy after all this time to see these sets we were dreaming about right in front of us, and I'm super, super grateful to be able to present it for you guys here. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. Stay tuned for more 2024 LEGO Marvel reviews coming soon, and I'll see you guys on the next video.